Okay, we're going to demonstrate the teen firefighting pump unit. Uh, what you want to do first is get everything set up alongside your hydrant. Make sure that your valve's on on your tank so you have the water to your hydrant. And you want to open this, especially if it hasn't been opened for a while. Stand to the side because you can get some pressure. But you want to open this just to make sure that you have some water coming out. And you can bleed the air off out of the line, plus if there's any debris on there. And I was pretty quick on it because we had already tried this once. So, but I'd leave it open for a couple of seconds, get the air out and get the debris out. What you want to do next is take the end of your hose where you used to have your foot valve on here. You remove the foot valve. Now you have the bare end of the hose. You're going to use your T-handle clamp, flip it over, loosen it all the way up. Maybe moisten this up just a little bit to ease it to go on there. And then if you rotate this the opposite direction of the spiral, it makes it a little bit easier to go on. Get that under good and snug. And then you can go ahead and tighten up your T-handle. This T-handle puts a lot of force on, so you don't want to break it by over-tightening it, but it does need to be pretty snug on there. The worst that can happen is it would leak and you just have to re-tighten a little bit. Next, you're going to want to take your hydrant adapter. In the county, this is code. It's a 4-inch national hose adapter. Tighten that on. Hand tight should work. Again, if it leaks, you can always tighten it up, tap it with a little brass hammer. You've got your other adapter, which comes with this as a package. You put This is already installed on the end of your hose. That's a two and a half inch national hose adapter. It has a slip fit. And again, tighten that by hand. You want to wheel your cart. So this is pretty much downhill and in a straight line from this. Make sure your main gate valve is shut off, that your two bleed valves are shut off, and then the petcock underneath the drain is shut off. Slowly open your main hydrant. You'll see the water start to fill up. Let it build up a little bit, and then go ahead and open it all the way up. going until it goes all the way to the end. Make sure you have full open on the valve. You may have a little air in the line, so what you can do, you can take your chap off your accessory fitting. You can hear the air coming out of there. Or if there's a lot of air, you can open up your main line just so the air quits gurgling out. And that's about to do it. You're, you're pretty well bled. You want to take your hose. I'm using the short hose. You want to lay your hose out where there's no kinks in it. If you're using the long hose, you can lay it out in the big S pattern. Inch and a half national hose. Goes onto your valve. Everything's ready to go at this point. We'll leave our main valve shut off. I'll go to the side of the machine, make sure the gas is on. I'm going to put the choke about halfway. Your on and off switch is in the run position up in front. You want to make sure that you've already put oil in the machine according to the directions and that you have regular, regular gasoline in here. I, there's three controls down here. One is your throttle. You want to set that about halfway. Your next one is the choke. Go ahead and put it in choke position. I had inadvertently had the fuel off. You want to turn the fuel on, let it run a second. It may take a full pull. Choke about halfway, let it warm up a little bit. Now go to, go to full throttle. And right off the bat, you want to slowly open your hose. You don't want to run this very long.
in about 70, 75 feet. shut off your valve and you can start it just like we did before. Shut up. 